Tonight, the Minnesota State University Mankato Alumni Association is pleased to honor Dr. Donald Mitchell with this year's Young Alumni Award. Donald is an assistant professor of higher education at Grand Valley State University in Grand Rapids, Michigan. His research focuses on issues of diversity, equity, and inclusion within higher education. MSU means achievement and big ideas. So MSU is where I've received guidance to pursue my big idea to shape the future of higher education through teaching, research, service, and administration. So I'm forever grateful that MSU was a part of my educational journey. Donald is a native of Portsmouth, Virginia, where his mother supported him by working extra hours and leaving checks on the stairs to cover college application fees. With her support, he became a first-generation college student at Shaw University. I would like to thank my family for all of their support because they personify my tattoo for those I love I will sacrifice. I would like to give a special acknowledgement to my mom. She is single-handedly the most important family member that has helped me become the man and profession I am today. So love you, Mom. As a senior at Shaw University, Donald met Dr. Michael Fagan, who was recruiting students for graduate programs at Minnesota State Mankato. As a result, Donald successfully applied to enter the Master of Science in Education Leadership Program, where he had the opportunity to learn from and work with Dr. Lynn Akey, Dr. Sharice Truesdale, Dr. Julie Carlson, and Dr. Henry Morris, as well as his academic advisor, Professor Jasper Hunt. Dr. Jasper Hunt, professor of experiential education and educational leadership. He was my academic advisor and he supported me from day one. I was also fond of his classes because they were so uniquely organized. For example, in our leadership studies course, we read about the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. to study different leadership theories. So I was a bit nervous about graduate courses coming in, but Dr. Hunt was the reason I transitioned well because of his support, his teaching style, and his intentionality. Donald had opportunities outside the classroom, too. For example, he was able to shadow the provost and was the only student participant at the Minnesota State Mankato Foundation retreat in 2007. Oh, and he experienced Minnesota winters as well. I lived about a half a mile from campus. I can remember walking to the bus stop during the winter and being introduced to Minnesota winters. The frozen tears is something I will never forget. Though he now lives far from that veil of frozen tears, Donald keeps tabs on what is happening at Minnesota State Mankato. So just hearing good news about my alma mater makes me proud. So I enjoy hearing about successful building and capital campaigns. I enjoy hearing about sports teams winning conference and national championships. I enjoy hearing about faculty and staff being recognized locally, regionally, nationally, and globally. I also enjoy hearing about MSU because we're well positioned as one of the top two institutions in the state. In the past year, Donald has received Young Alumni Awards from all three of his alma maters, Shaw University, Minnesota State Mankato, and the University of Minnesota Twin Cities, where he earned his doctorate. So for me, it just reinforces that I chose the right institutions, that I've met the best mentors and role models, and that my institutions have prepared me well to pursue my goals and my passions, and I couldn't have asked for more. My proudest moments include engaging students in my scholarly work and just helping students reach their goals, what people did for me while I was at MSU.